morning, Perm High School, and welcome to WPHS. I'm Cole Buchanan. I'm Becky Stahl. I'm Jordan Matfeld. I'm Shane McClellan. And I'm Mike. Everyone that was here last year remembers Mr. Rutten. He's a little bit different than our current principal, so the team of the school did a little investigating to get an inside look of our new leader. For those of you that were here last year, you remember the reign of Rutten. Well, he's left us now for the beautiful Saudi Arabia and making new friends. Now we have a new principal, and no one really knows who he is, so Ivan, Griffin, Chad, and Becky are going on the hunt to find our new principal. So, did you guys hear that we got rid of Rutten? Yeah, there's a new guy here. I don't know who he is. I have yet to see anyone. Like, apparently he left to some foreign land. I know many people thought that Rutten was still the principal, but, I mean, I, I don't even know what the new guy looks like. I haven't heard him talk or anything. I mean, most people haven't seen him. I know that, I What's mean, I've name? heard of him. What's his name? I'm, I, I'm not sure, I, Mr. Should we, should we do some investigating? I mean, I think we should probably try and find out who this guy is. Someone said he apparently looked like Muhammad Ali. What are we doing outside? I didn't even know he was black. I didn't even know we were outside. <laughs> I, so Kim, have you heard about the new principal in our building? What? Right. About Mr. Rutten? No, uh, the new. We've got a new principal. I was wondering if you heard anything about him. We do. Where's Mr. Rutten? So, so from what you've told me, he's six one, very well built, very well dressed, and is balding. And that's what and you think this, he looks like? Yes, this is what I think he looks like. I don't know, but I bet you he's really hairy. Some say he stands at least twelve feet tall. Doubtful. You know, I. I heard at night sometimes he calls out to the nature to get some reinforcements for hunting. What was that? Hey, maybe you should try, try and call. Maybe you should try and call that. Maybe you should try and call that. Maybe it's the same. Give him a return. Ah! That was a good one. Yeah. So we need to find this guy. Okay, Guys, I think we're approaching the Zimmerman Lane. Try, try and fish him off with a couple. Try and call him. Try and call him. I think he might be. Try He's gone. He's too fast. We missed him. It was a near Zimmerman sighting. <sighs> Another day. We'll find him. Once again, we'll get him one of these days. I think it's clear. I, yeah. I think all the evidence amounts to the fact that we do have a new principal. He, and we he have did, to face it. He's a lot different than Mr. Rutten, that's for sure. I mean, Rutten, he was the rage on the stage, and now Zimmerman is the guy on the side, and we just have to accept it. Yeah. And he's a great he likes man. to stay within his realm. And, you know, I mean, he is a tough character to track down. Yep. And he, he, he lets us do our own thing, yep. but if, if he needs to get involved, he does, so. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Zimmerman, for everything you've done so far. It means a lot. Well, that was interesting, Mike. The end is near, and the Mayans were just a little off on their timing. The Kai apocalypse has begun. Obviously, I'm only gonna pay for one of them. Exactly. Oh, by the window, Hello? Shane. Shane, it's Nick. Oh, hey, what's up, Nick? They're, they're, it's all them, and they're doing it. Nick, you just need to calm down. The Kiowas, they're all the missing people, they're up to it. 
Kyle was. Shh. Nick, what is it? I think they're coming. I don't know about you, but I'm scared. Well, I don't f honestly find Kyla all that terrifying. But this week, some seniors are bringing you a thrilling sneak peek of their upcoming projects. Let's take a look. students will be looking forward to. We'll be crossing the ocean on an 11 day trip to Spain. De Perum. Did you know there's a trip to Spain coming up? We are going to be going to the following cities. Barcelona, Valencia, Granada, Costa del Sol, Sevilla, Córdoba y Madrid, la capital de España. Our trip is going to be 11 days. Hope you can join us. Okay, in the Spain trip, we're going to be going to the world's largest aquarium. Whoa. And there might be a chocolate factory, which I'm super excited about. And history stuff like the Don Quixote statue. History. It's going to be a life changing experience and it's going to be fun. 
We're going to have a free day on the beach. I can't remember which beach it is. We're going to spend one day in Madrid and three days in Barcelona. We're going to have like a flamingo party. And I don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's going to be fun because anything with party in it is A-OK -okay by me. Day one, we will be flying overnight to Spain. Day two and three, we will be in Barcelona. Day four, Barcelona and Valencia. Day five, Granada. Day six, we will also be in Granada. Day seven, Costa del Sol. Day eight, Seville, but in Spanish we say Sevilla. Day nine, Cordoba. Day 10, Madrid. And day 11, we will be departing for Los Estados Unidos. If you want to sign up for Spain, the due date is March 4th. Hope you can make it. Nos vemos. Remember, the last day to sign up is March 4th. Well, I know I'll be signing up. Now, we all know texting can lead to tragedy, right? Well, Watch as Knack presents uh, all of the possible things that can happen to all of those texting addicts out there. This is my story of what happened to my friend when she was texting and driving. She was at the circus last week, and there was this guy, and he was just woofing down all them corn dogs, and then there was this fire, and there was a tiger, and you know how I like my cats, and it was just like brown. Just... Kurt, are you paying attention to me? Hmm? Carly, did, have you heard anything I even said? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's I can't 30, take it. You just 30. all you do is text anymore. I feel like we don't even have a friendship anymore. That's it. We're going to Angie's. <laughs> with me and you're just we're taking care of your problem you know I mean I just I'm, I'm so Carly Carly this is why we're here stop texting Angie I'm so glad you're able to see us I just I can't handle it anymore Carly just won't stop texting is there anything we can do about this Carly texting is very bad for your health how so? You can get arthritis in your fingers. It's important to have that face-to-face -face interaction so people can hear your voice and actually hear your words. And you should never text and drive. Have you finally learned your lesson at all? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm never gonna text again. Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you, Angie, for telling us some information on texting. And remember, to stay alive, you must not text and drive. Wow, what a sad story. Well, I know I won't be texting much anymore. Tune in next week for one of Naoto's masterpieces. This has been WPHS with Cole Buchanan. I'm Becky Stop. I'm Jordan Meffield. I'm Shay McGlone. And I'm Mike. Thanks for watching, and thank you, Seth Safdie, for directing, and Joe Honeycutt on camera. Just think of something. Just like, uh...